looks so cute. Oh, that's quite a nice light. It's not that bad. <laughs> look, rats. You look nice all the time. It's really annoying. That is so not true. You literally look nice all the time. I can't tell if my skin feels glowy or greasy. <laughs> like I feel like I need to. I've got like a layer of dark, like. Yeah. I grime. need to shower. I bet if I do that, I'll like. Well, we, well I got up at two a.m. this morning. It's insane. I don't. I should. You should have texted me because I was still up stupidly because I. Mental. I was still packing. Well, I didn't think you'd be up, and I was like, what if she's one of those girls that doesn't put her phone on, do not disturb, and then I wake her up and I ruin her whole night's oh, sleep. Oh, no, I would sleep for anything. I li would literally, I would sleep for an earthquake. Can you imagine if there is actually people out there that don't put their phone on, do not disturb at night? I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Why? Because, I don't know. I just sleep But I go things. to sleep at, like, 8, 9 o'clock. Yeah, in, I go like, to sleep at, like, 3 a.m. So. Well, no one's texting you at 3 a.m. No, I'm texting people at 3 a.m. But then... I do, but I do. What I do work. I wish you could schedule send on WhatsApp. That would be so. Good. I know. Be because like Slack. I worry that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe get all your friends on a Slack chat. Yeah. Oh, well. like, we've got that at work. Oh god, the um, notification gives me like PTSD. Does it? What's this? I'm... Oh, I can't even remember. I don't want. I don't want to. No, I've forgotten now. That Slack noise. Oh, I've got my phone is never on loud. It's on um, oh. silent both of them. Hey guys, we are in Iceland. We're here. Um, we're a bit dead. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. From traveling. You had a what time? Five a.m. start. Yeah, well, I had a, I I had a two a.m. start. I should have five. I had, I had a string of nights last week of night shifts, so I think I'm still a bit dead from those. I don't 100 percent know what she does, but I know it's like <laughs> journalism for Sky Mysterious or something like shifts. that. She's yeah. a bad bitch. She's a cool girl. <laughs> We're going to talk about that at some point. Yeah, out we'll figure out what she does. I don't know what um, I do, really. I've also, I figured out, do you ever notice when you get, you notice your own tick? Like, you do something and it ruins your life. Like, I was sat in the office yesterday and I sat there and I was like, um, and all the girls just turned and faced me and I thought, is that my thing? But I said, um, every time I have something to say. And then I was hyper aware and I, uh, I did it four more times and I was like, um, But when say. you start noticing it, you just can't stop. So I just did it now. Did you? I, I didn't notice it. Yeah, when I want to start a sentence, I'm like, um... <laughs> and then I do that in voice notes. Yeah. I say, I'm a lot. I don't know, like... I'm going to work on that. I'm going to do yeah, that. Today. Yeah, it's a, it's a female thing, I think. Right, no ums. No ums today. We are in Reykjavik, and we are only here for four nights? Yeah. Three nights. Three nights, four days. Yeah. Oh, that's why we're running out of time already and we've yeah. only just got here. <laughs> so the plan was to go to a museum tonight, but we just fell asleep on the sofa, passed out, and now we feel like... Yeah, we did that like weird thing. We were like, let's just have some like TikTok time, let's like, scroll. And then we were both like, dump, like, <laughs> absolutely out of the count. It felt so, so good and then it felt so bad when I, yeah. when I woke up. I feel like... I need to like go or something. You know when you're like. Did oh. you bring one? No. <laughs> Sorry, you can use my. I'm gonna find a little block of ice outside. Literally. Like, oh. But anyway, I forgot to film anything up until now. <laughs> literally, I was I like, I got a video, one video for you. The problem is, I had I had like mad plans to film like some really nice like arty videos oh, of yeah. traveling. Yeah. But then I filmed a couple of upright for a TikTok <laughs> that I can't even make because I've got no videos for that either. But anyway, from now. It's gonna get good. It's black time. No one wants to see the travel anyway. Who cares no. about travel vlogs? Boring. No. It was. Do you know? It was boring because it was so easy. Our it, journey was so straightforward. It was good to Which know. Which is good. We collected yeah. them Avios points, and we, we are. Got them. Wait. You, Erin, introduced me to uh, what is it called? The the, the collect. Shopping. Yeah. On if you collect Avios points, if you go out. on the Executive Club app, you can buy through their like partner shops, and they are partnered with everybody. Yeah. So I just good. actually ordered. Oh, you know how we both said we get influenced really quick. Yeah. So we are like a marketer's dream. Both of us will see a TikTok and be like, oh, that's straight my so basket. Bad. It's in my basket before the video's finished. Totally. I same. just did that a minute ago. There was a girl. Cool. She had like dark circles under her eyes, and she was getting <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish Color Corrector or something. And I looked, and I was like, and I, I looked. Think I, is that? Is it? Does it look quite pink? You can get the pink one and you can get fair. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen that. I, if I put red under my eye, I, I wouldn't get anywhere from that. No, but I got yeah, the fair that was one. A, do you remember that was a thing you used to put yeah. flash under? I did that yeah. for a while, but then I, I realised it wouldn't. Effort, it? But also, like, when you have... It looks great for the first, like, hour. But then when it, it melts away, it melts you've got away, red. And then you've got, like, <laughs> like yeah. blush under your eye. It doesn't look great. Yeah, but anyway, so I went on the app and I saw the cult beauty bit. And I was like, 
So my 100 points are coming my way. Oh. Yep. So then anyway, you can collect them towards flights. So. Yeah, so that's changing If you don't do Avios points, get up on that. Yeah, they are good. They are quite good. Well, I got, that's how I, the whole reason we ended up doing this trip is because when I was on a night shift, like a couple of weeks back, I deliriously, um, I was just like searching, like what can I, what can I get for these like Avios points? Like, I mean, let me see. Possible. And then I was like, like Dyson, and it cost me a pound because of the point. Speaking of, let's <laughs> tell people how um, this came about. <laughs> so Selena messaged me out of the blue, and you are awful with text. The yeah, funniest part was, shocking. so we'd, we'd been texting a little bit, and then it was your birthday, and I messaged you saying happy birthday, and I didn't even realise until you texted me, like three months later, going, hi, so sorry with my phone, thanks, thanks for the birthday, birthday message. <laughs> It was so funny. You clearly I, just I had it on your mind. I literally can't reply to birthday messages. I don't know what it is about me. I just get just sort of double time. I, I don't. Over, I don't like advertise it's my birthday because otherwise. I think I saw. I can't remember if I saw it on Facebook or something. But I was like. Yeah, oh. yeah. I was surprised you texted me because not a lot of people know about it. So I only text people that like. Oh, so and then said about you wanted to go horse riding in Iceland and like what did I yeah. recommend from Blackheart and yeah, bits I was, like that. I was like, was and then literally within two messages you were like, oh by the way, you're also welcome to come because <laughs> <laughs> I've got an Airbnb and I'm going on my own. It's because I'm booked on my own. I go to, I go travelling a lot on my own and like but like usually it's like cities like it's much easier to like you know mooch around like on and your like own. An apartment in a city. Yeah. Walk, Whereas everywhere. it suddenly hit me. I was like. It's like Iceland. Like, I think it is a good place for solo travel. It's very safe. Now probably. that we've got here, I think if you'd booked no. an Airbnb in the centre, you'd be fine. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Because then I also, where would you park your car? That's it. Yeah. I don't know. But then, yeah, it's like actually, it's just like it's a fun thing to do with someone. Like you were saying, like I like pictures, pictures as well. Pictures. Yeah. Like Miss Selena, obviously the models. Like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> how would you guess? Um, <laughs> I just. Um, <laughs> We need to play like a, like a clicker sound when we do it to, oh to God, actually try. Yeah, you can Pavlov me. Pavlov dog, yeah. You can Pavlov dog yeah. me. We'll, we'll, we'll start working on it. <laughs> Is so a better option? How do I breathe um, and then not say anything? I just did it. You did? <laughs> So we need some photos. Yes, about taking pictures. So yeah. then we were like, yeah, but it's so much more fun to get a good picture yeah. and document things when you've got a pal. Yeah. And we Definitely. have figured out we've actually got the exact same brain. It's a bit strange. It's really shocking. Like, even when we both of our suitcases came, we both have like a funny little ribbon that we put on them to show it's like your one. Yeah. And then with the pack, we both use packing cubes. There's just so many things. I mean, they, they sound just, like a they bit... They sound really... Whoever's uh, watching this will be like, oh, well, I do that. you've got to use packing cubes. <laughs> no, but We're so unique. Like, what the hell? Like, packing girls. cubes, ribbons well, on the nobody suitcase. Nobody like us out there. Nobody has ever thought of that. But yeah, we've got... Oh, but yeah, it's probably one I do as well. We have so many similarities. And it was yeah. her mum that introduced us. So yeah. shout out, Pam. Hey, mum. The, <laughs> the first time Pam met me, like, it was one of the shows, and she was like, you my daughter get on all you guys to me. Yeah. And um, now yeah. we get it. Yeah. So just like she was mum just like blind friendship dates. She dates did. Us. I would rather do blind friendship dates. Yeah, it's it would never have done a blind date though, actually. I've that not, sounds fun. I've not either. Should no. we keep one in London? Yeah, we should. Oh, Although actually fun. risky. Oh true. I'm not sure London's the place to do it. Who would we find? Den name? Well here, Technically. Scandinavia. I know, but we're here for three nights. We won't have much time. Uh, also, I googled it. It's not part of Scandinavia. No, Excuse me. I didn't think it. Was, I didn't. But where's my phone? I don't know. Anyway, it is part. I, I googled it, and it's not technically considered Scandinavia. That's right. like Sweden, Norway, no and it's not Finland. It's the other one. Denmark, maybe. Yeah. But it is part of the Nordic, like Norse Nordic. family. Yeah. Okay. And Norse. you know how I said, like, I basically figured out that I could speak Icelandic because I guessed <laughs> the word for ham naturally in the supermarket <laughs> because it reminded me because I do speak a little bit of German don't quote me on that and um ambition <laughs> yeah, but I got it and um, then I looked and it comes from like the German and the Norse right. like combined we family that, it felt like when we were walking around because some of it felt like Swedish mix with or like German Dutch life. as well you yeah, said Dutch, yeah yeah so by the end yeah. of this trip we'll be going. I mean, just by osmosis, rather than anything else. Anyway, um, right, we'll we're going to walk it. to the shop to try and wake yeah. ourselves up because it's really windy and cold, so that sounds very refreshing. Yeah, mm, yeah, refreshing. It's nice cold air. And then we're going to go and get fish and chips and then just have a girly, a girly evening. Yeah, we, we did have great ambitious plans. There, was a, there was a Google Doc involved. 
Um, to be fair, so. I've Googled what I wanted to know though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we will hit up the museum at some point. Yeah. But tomorrow morning, first yeah. thing we've got, Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Early to try and get a nice picture. Yeah, Watch everyone else have the same idea. I don't think it could be that busy because of the volcano. And then we want to try and catch the Northern Lights tomorrow. Yeah. We could maybe do the volcano tomorrow actually because we're out that way. I was thinking that. Uh -huh. I was just like, yeah. We need to book horse riding. We need to book horse riding. But everything else. And then we're just going to move. I think, and then everyone's going to come with us. And then, yeah, what, what is it? Thursday might be horse riding. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Alright, let's hit this. Let's go. so different, you have to walk in a fridge. For real, you Milk and meat needs. I'm not gonna lie, I actually hate the new Dr. Pepper. I've never tried Dr. I love Dr. Pepper, but I just, I really do not like the new packaging. What? The new, oh, is it new? Yeah, it's hobbied. What, you got, girl? I'm trying to do some balancing. <laughs> this is, I'm gonna be that person. How many are you getting? Four? Why don't you just get a couple and we'll come back? Oh, We're yeah. not even here for four nights. <laughs> I've got a Sky yogurt because obviously it's from Iceland. Gorgeous. I've got some herbal oh, tea, yeah. chalky milk, and a oh, Celsius. Yeah, I've got it. Oh. These are the best food on the planet. <laughs> yeah, actually. I was I, very skeptical because I don't like cheesy crisps. I'm a girl, though. No. Do you know my favourite thing in a new country is to go to the supermarket and have a look around? Look how cool everything is. England could never. I love the pink trolleys. And it's even pasta. So interesting. Yeah. Whoa. It looks so crunchy. <laughs> it does I know look it crunchy. I know it dries. <laughs> I know it dries. Oh, wow. So look, that's all the lava down there. We are going exploring now. We're going to go start with a waterfall and then end up on a black sand beach. And then we're going to go to this little town, I think, for dinner. So, road trip! Nothing I love more than a road trip. I've been driving on the wrong side of the road and I love it. It's fine. When I spent that few months in America, I was obviously on the right side of the road for the whole time. And what's really weird is how normal it now feels driving on the right side of the road. So like I came out of the airport and I was instantly on the right side of the road. And like it didn't even feel weird. And it's kind of weird that it doesn't feel weird. So yeah, just, just call me Mrs. Worldwide. This is my cutie little car. We got a little Kia. They gave me a, a little upgrade. And um, I'm just waiting for Miss Selena. She's coming. <laughs> and then where are we going? It's an hour and a half to waterfall. And then these are my nails, guys. I hate them. I got them done the other day and I had an image in mind and these are not it. I think this hand looks slightly better. I'm not sure. Sounds for general videos. Yeah. <laughs> and again. The things you do for coffee. I'm staying off the ice. Yeah, but it's not that easy. It's not. Ah! That's crazy, I'm doing. Music. So we are going to ride Icelandic ponies. So excited. So excited. I know that was something you really wanted to I do. I was desperate to. I've just, they just look so cute. We've driven past so many. I know. They it's like a staple tiny, of though. Iceland. Yeah. Do you think we'll look oversized on them? I, I think our legs, we are both tall gals. I think our legs are going to be like, not touching the floor. <laughs> Honestly. But, Perhaps not too far. It's gonna be so fun. It's so exciting. And we were trying to figure out what ride we wanted to do, and there was yeah. one called Horses and Waffles, where you literally go for an hour ride and then you get, get back and have a waffle. Afterwards. And I love that. But then the 
that was the beginner one so they said yeah. we'll do something different but i kind of still hope we'll get a waffle i hope we'll get a waffle i, I was also hoping we'll get a waffle at the end that would be so good we can we can negotiate we're both head to toe black cut of course obviously of course you've gone more gray i've gone gray you've gone brown i've gone brown purely to match my hat my nose is leaking but it's like oh no it's because it's cold it's a very sniffly time iceland <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> we both got the sniffles haven't we so it's about a 20 minutes drive to the place we're going and then we're gonna go to sky lagoon after for a little dip. we have got the for erin and i like the perfect day horses spa and then we'll probably just do like dinner and we had like bakery morning we've had coffee oh, and yeah, a cake a nice walk once you once we got past the treacherous Oh, that was a <laughs> treacherous part <laughs> a few slippers slides but <laughs> well, luckily we're both still going skates, stop it so. Well, I'm not sure I'd actually class myself as well, like pros. Like, when do you get to be called an like a thing? You know, probably when you compete or yeah, it's like your thing. Yeah, I think it's when you're like officially. I don't know. Like, yeah, so I'm not sure about ice skates, but I can ice skate a bit. <laughs> Different thing. Anyway, <laughs> we need to get a driving. So we let's do. go. Oh, it still looks cute. I'm gonna zoom. Mountain. After the ride, horses and waffles. I'm in shock. <laughs> Deep off. <laughs> I've got mine on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm feeling safer. Stand. I'll keep mine on. Guys, we just wanted to debrief on the riding trip we just had. It Unreal. was yeah, no Unreal. words. Well, th there is going to be a few words. <laughs> so. Erin, you've got mud on your face. Still. This is part of it. Where? Oh cheek. yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Basically, I got hit by some some loose gravel when they were off, and I was like, <laughs> and like it pelted me, and I was like, I was like, oh god, not in the contact. At first, Aaron's face was like literally covered in. I was life. just said there like. <laughs> I was like, next time, guys, I ain't going to the bag. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, um, how do we pronounce it? You e sent yourself a voice note. E you sent me a voice. I then. sent you a voice. I want note. to pronounce it correctly, okay? Yeah. E sister. <laughs> okay, so we're with E sister. E -sister. Riding tours? Yeah. I think it's what they're called. And anyway, we found that we stumbled on it. We were looking online. Yeah. We found another couple of companies, and for some reason, we just didn't go. There was nothing wrong with them. We just didn't gravitate yeah, towards them. it was like a yeah, very natural thing and we saw this company and they were super on it like i messaged them on social media they were super on it with their replying super good with their calls and they were they were really accommodating because some companies don't do it in the winter they only yeah, do tours in the summer. summer and the other one was just like getting fully booked up really quick and this company was just so nice they were like well this tour's booked but we could do you this one and we were like yeah they oh, were God. so sweet yeah so obviously we got there literally most beautiful place ever like the inside is really cool really aesthetic yeah. like there's information about icelandic horses about all of it and yeah. then they do this safety video and it is the cutest thing i've ever seen but it's so good because it explains things really well and re yeah. not not patronizing as no, well no and like, I, there's really something nice. about the icelandic and like nordic and scandinavian yeah. accents yeah. that for me is so endearing it's, like calming, isn't it's it? calming and it's so everything they and say sounds so, so nice sweet anyway so like yeah, lovely people i think these are some of the nicest people i've ever bumped into me too people They're that lovely. actually do like tourists because yeah. a lot of yeah. companies bloody <laughs> hate tourists it's true um, but yeah, so they the, the video was so cute. They, it was really good. Like if you are actually a beginner, I think a lot of places they just chuck you on board and then yeah, hope for the like, best. Good luck. Whereas this one had like video demonstrations and well, well, um, what word am I looking for? Executed. Yeah, yeah. explanation. Was execu Something Ex like yeah, that. Yeah, like just, they they just explained yeah. it really nicely, like in little sections, like. But one, because one of the most important things they said was like how to approach the horse. Because I think yeah. if, it is true. Like if you don't know horses. You don't know, perhaps, perhaps you, you know, not approach people are a bit jumpy, kind of and, yeah. and it was obviously explaining about the hands and the legs, yeah. and it was just really clever. Right. But no, if you are a beginner, it's suitable it's for you totally, completely. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, the pony. Oh no, the horses. <laughs> okay, so this is the first mistake I made. Everyone's messaged me and said, "I'll go ride Icelandic ponies," and I was convinced they were called Icelandic ponies. They yeah. were a breed of pony. 
that is uh -uh, wrong. They are a horse. They're a full-on horse. So they're Icelandic horses, not ponies, guys. Yeah. Oh, is that the car? Is that a different one? It's a different one. Aww. First things first, they're Icelandic horses. Horses. And it was just, it was so much fun. And their main gate is a tont. Tont. A tont. tont. And it's somewhere between a trot and a canter. You know this better than me. Can you explain that better? Oh, gosh. Pressure. But I think how I understand it is they basically trot with their front legs, but they're kind of cantering with their back legs. It's like in between yeah. a trot and a canter. And do you... So when we, we were driving yeah, past, I you one. thought it looked comfy. I thought it looked really uncomfortable for the rider. I only thought because she was kind of gliding and I was yeah. like, huh, if it was uncomfortable, she'd be like vomiting. It just looked like nothing I've ever seen before. <laughs> and any, anyway, I thought it was going to be uncomfortable. We started taunting. It was the most comfortable thing. You, you insane. You're just there gliding along. It is like gliding. Like, so do you know cool. what it reminded me of? Do you know in, in, have you watched The Incredibles? Yeah. You know Edna when she like, Yes. Along. Like it's like it's like the legs are the legs are doing so much, but like it's so. Still. I know what you mean. It's like it's kind of like. But that. what was really weird is he's freaking fast. Like when you ask yeah. them to go fast, they can oh launch God. themselves. Whoa! The acceleration on that first canter was insane. It like was, you oh, no, no, quite, uh, in the top, but then the oh, gallop. The oh. These Icelandic horses may be small, but they <laughs> are mighty. They are. They remind me of like a supersonic tank. Yeah. Like a tank. It was. That's, being pimped out. It was insane. <laughs> like, I think it took you and I by surprise a bit. Like, I just didn't expect it. It certainly took me by surprise. Like, we turned that corner and they just literally like launched. Like, literally. it was it was crazy. They are so cute though. They're I am so obsessed lovely. with Icelandic horses. I really one. love it. I'm well, sure if you will. No, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. But we learned a few fun facts as well, yeah. so I want to tell you those because yeah. I'm not normally the best at retaining information but i really enjoyed these yeah. little facts so yeah. what was it so obviously they're a horse not a pony that was the yeah. first one and they're well i guess so they're viking horses so that's how they got here the vikings literally Which brought is, them here yeah they're like the og of, viking horse um and they're the only breed of horse in iceland, only breed of horse in iceland. they don't like, allow any other breeds and it keeps it super like fresh and safe for them so they don't yeah. even need vaccinated i believe and once a horse leaves iceland it can't come back so, in case it brings yeah, case something it brings with else. it, and then it was funny because you weren't even you brought your own hat, didn't you? Yeah. And you weren't allowed to wear it because well, yeah. you were. They said they, they said, said they we just need to disinfect it, it first because like, it can't go near yeah. a horse if you've had it near another yeah. horse, which I thought was really clever. I think it's really clever. That was the other thing. The hats here. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> what a dream! Like so, in the UK, if you they're going to be horrible. If you go riding, you get given a skull cap, which I don't know. At my riding school, we used to call people like eggheads. No, just, like, it makes so you feel mean, like an egghead. You'd be an egghead. So, I was convinced. I was on the way. I was saying to Selena, I was like, I'm not wearing a hat. I really, I know I it's bad, like, but like, I just, okay. it's going to be so ugly. I don't want to wear a hat. I'll wear a beanie cap, whatever. Anyway, they had a big wall of hats and I was like, oh, okay, I'll put it and on. And they were KEP oh, hats. Like, they were nice I was hats. like, I'll, I'll put it on. Yeah, they were lovely. They were comfy as well. <laughs> okay, what's well, another fun fact for them? Um, well, the gates. So they, some, some of them have up to five gates. The walk, trot, tolt, canter and flying pace you want flying to explain pace. the flying pace so the flying pace is crazy so so it's kind of obviously have gallops so they kind of side to side yeah so instead of um gallops obviously four legs and they, their legs do leave the, like the ground at one point there's that's called a name which i'm now my pony club knowledge is letting me down but i like, think like they're, 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 when they're in the air that's called or something but, I'm not um, sure. but the flying pace wasn't it so it's like two both. one side of the the legs goes and yeah. then the other side and like, do, it's like do, do, it's kind of rocks from side to side which is so cool you have to like you and have they to can only do that a, in a straight line although they yeah, fall they, they can like, fall over get, like, but like go look at a video of it it's insane and there was this facts i need to find the facts I have a fact sheet on here because we were so <laughs> interested. There was this one video she showed us in um, the horse. There was a horse that was fly pacing in front and the horse that was galloping behind. And the fly pace is like way faster than the gallop, which I can't even imagine going faster than gallop. Because no. Just from today, like those horses are fast. Okay. By law, Icelandic yeah. horses are entitled to two months vacation per year. So cute. Which I love. I love that. And then, so. And they give them, she said they give them four months. They here, give, yeah. They, they give four months here. Horses. They have little spikes in their shoes to stop them slipping on the yeah. ice and the snow. Because we were going down and you said. I was like, like oh, can I go through this like snowy Like, puddle? is it okay to do? And she was like, yeah. Yeah, she was like, yeah, they've got little spikes. <laughs> they're good. Uh, they're a super popular breed in Europe and there's actually more Icelandic horses mm. in Germany than in Iceland itself, which is insane. One coming to the UK soon. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're one of the most colourful breeds of horse with over 100 variations. There were some really pretty ones. Oh, do you know, I still have like such a soft spot for like a dark 
grey horse with yeah. a white mane. Mm. That was always such like my dream horse, but of course greys always just lose that. Yeah, they had some beautiful um they yeah. had some beautiful horses. So there was then. I saw one of those there and I think We just had the best time, honestly. I just honestly feel so oh and you forgot the best part. What? When when we finished our ride they came up with hot waffles. <laughs> So, hot waffles. It was amazing. So you, they had an option on their website called Horses, Horses and waffles, waffles, and we didn't do that ride, but then we no. came out and she went, we've got fresh waffles waiting for you if you're ready, and we were like, are we ever? I, are we I, ever? I actually think, I think I'm going to wake up soon, and this will just all be over, like, they, a It was just dream. one of the best equestrian experiences yeah. I've ever had, Like, yeah. and that is that is quite a big statement for me. I think me. so, yeah. I mean, I'm someone, I've ridden my whole life as well, and like, like you and I have both had, I would say, quite unique horse experiences, yeah, with like yeah. my mum running all the shows. Like, exactly. Her mum's like your... the don of the equestrian, <laughs> the equestrian yeah, show I'm circuit. Really She's incredible. Yeah, so, so you've we've seen, seen a lot. some like weird, you, you sort of think you've seen it all. And I've done a lot of horsey experiences, that was yeah, just the best. Yeah, it was honestly so fun. The Icelandic people, the Icelandic horses, top notch. And those yeah. bloody waffles. <laughs> No, it's not blue lagoon, it's the sky lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> <Ew. laughs> so Why did you zoom that much? I don't know. Can I zoom out? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, we're packing to leave. So sad. And of course, the sun comes out on our last I day. I bet the northern lights will be out tonight. I 100% will. We were debating whether to go out at 3am last night. <laughs> and then we heard the rain, wind and the rain. And it we were was like, outrageous last night. So we thought, well, if there's rain, there's clouds. We're like, it's just so, not meant to be. So we're a little no. bit good about that, but we've had a good trip. Yeah, and it gives us an excuse to come back. So I'm down. Yeah, me too, definitely. Or we could go, we were saying we could go Canada. Norway. And we want to come back in the summer for that nine day tour. Yeah, definitely. God, I'm sweating still right here, but it's know, so I'm worth it for the light. I've got my thermals on now, but it's hot. Yeah, we're just going to wrap this up, go and explore a little bit, have some breakfast, and then go to the museum, museum. and then head to the airport. It's gone really quick. It's gone really quick. Like, Sad. feels like we've been here a month, but then, like, a yeah. day. <laughs> like, that, um... My heart's breaking. That, what were we, on the first day, like, just going to collect our car, like, that feels like, literally, like, 100 years ago. You're so right. <laughs> we're to go car. Oh, I need a... <laughs> 